Okay, is this a Koya Wolf? Or as you may say, a Koi Wolf. This is an unusual looking large, dark, darkly colored coyote looking dog. A pretty broad head. Uh, sitting on the dikes down in Blaney Bog in Maple Ridge, British Columbia, Canada. Sorry it was raining that day and if I got any closer I would have spooked him but there he is uh, laying on the dikes looking for some food obviously having a rest uh, laying patiently waiting for something to jump out. Anyway you'll see him later he has wolf-like coloring and is rather large with a large fat head. Uh, koi wolf is an informal term for a canid hybrid descended from coyotes, eastern wolves, and gray wolves. All members of the genus Canis are closely genetically related with 78 chromosomes and therefore can interbreed. One genetic study indicated that these two species genetically diverged relatively recently between 55,000 and 117,000 years ago. Genome studies indicate that nearly all North American gray wolf populations possess some degree of admixture with coyotes. Following a geographic climb with the lowest levels occurring in Alaska and the highest levels in Ontario and Quebec, as well as Atlantic Canada. Hybrids of any combination tend to be larger than coyotes but smaller than wolves. They show behaviors intermediate between coyotes and their parent species. In one captive hybrid experiment, six hybrid pups from a male northwestern gray wolf and a female coyote were measured shortly after birth with an average of their weights, lengths, and uh, diameters and circumferences. And they compared those with true coyotes. Despite being delivered from a female coyote, the Hybrid pups at birth were much larger and heavier than regular coyote pups born and measured around the same time. And they increased in size proportionally with their age. Compared with pure coyotes, eastern wolf and coyote hybrids form more cooperative social groups and are generally less aggressive with each other while playing. Hybrids also reach sexual maturity when they are two years old which is much later that occurs with pure coyotes. Now watch uh, this video and you will see him get up and walk along. And when he does stand up you'll see he is fairly large and husky compared to the typical coyote. He has a broader head and his colorings are a lot of black in him, more like a black wolf, or to me looks like the shading of a German Shepherd. Uh, he's still sitting there looking for his meal, and I didn't want to spook him, so I didn't go close to him. And I'm sorry about the picture quality. This was taken from a long ways away with the telephoto lens and it was uh, pouring rain at the time. So he obviously does not mind the wet weather. And uh, you will see here he gets up. Look at his dark coloration and his long lanky legs like a, like a wolf. And fairly big head, not a skinny little head like a coyote and the big broad bushy tail. Not like uh, typical coyotes, this is more like uh, wolf-like. So I would call him a coyo wolf or a koi wolf. And there he goes uh, off screen there, look at that. Look at that coloration, he's very dark. Unusual in my estimation of coyotes. And he does have a uh, very broad head compared to the skinny head of a coyote, but he does have a longer jaw than the wolf.
the wolves that I've seen. There, there he is, a nice uh, profile with his head looking towards us and that broad head, large fluffy tail, dark coloration of a German Shepherd or a wolf. Okay, uh, when coyote meets wolf, the coy wolf or coyo wolf as I like to call him, just seems a little more distinguished. Coyote, coy wolf, wolf. There's a comparison, larger size, intermediate size, and a little bit huskier and longer legs. So there's a coyote on the left, wolf on the right. Uh, they're very, very similar. The koi wolf, there's the differences uh, and the way to identify them. Big bushy tail, longer limbs, a little bit huskier, and a little bit shorter jawline. Koi wolf or koi wolf, here's a photograph of one, obviously a female. Uh, here's another koi wolf. Look, this one looks more like a wolf than the typical coyote or even the typical koi wolf. Here's, here's like the one I saw on the dikes there. Uh, very, very similar in coloration and stature. So thank you. Subscribe below, please. And uh, thank you for all your support over the years. I appreciate it. Have a good life. Thank you. Bye.